All right, what's up, y'all? It's Sunday, and um, we did not go picking this morning. We did not go to any garage sales. We usually don't garage sale on Sundays unless we find an ad that says Sunday only garage sale. Then we might go, but uh, typically around here, uh, the garage sales start Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Those are the big days, so those are the days that we try to go. Uh, mainly Friday and Saturday for us. Uh, Sunday, I usually spend the day boxing up items that recently sold on eBay. Um, and the wife, she, uh, she'll she skim Facebook for uh, cheap furniture that we might be able to flip throughout the week until the next weekend comes. So uh, I just wanted to do a quick video on getting started on eBay. Okay, uh, a lot of the items that I sell, I sell on eBay. A lot of the items that my wife sells, she sells those on Facebook. Um, I prefer the eBay because you can actually make a little more money on eBay if you're willing to wait, right? Some of the items, they take a little bit longer to sell, but you make a little bit more money, okay? And uh, a lot of people, they avoid eBay because um, it can be a daunting task at first uh, just to get started, okay? But, you know, what I would suggest doing, um, you know, and I learned from the, uh, from the master, uh, Stu, uh, Stu's Collectibles, uh, eBay, go check it out if you haven't been there. Uh, he's the mastermind. He's got a lot of cool stuff. Um, one of the best uh, pickers that I know. Uh, he's, been, he's been in the game for a long time. He's been doing it the right way for a long time. He finds a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so he's the one that got me started. He basically told me how to do everything. So now I want to share with you guys how to do everything. If you don't have that uh, mentor, you know, maybe the video will help you out. So basically, you got to go on eBay, you got to make an account, you got to verify it, you got to do all that stuff. Um, a process of that also is creating a PayPal account. You'll have to link a debit card to it or a bank account. Um, you know, so once you get those accounts set up, it's pretty easy. Uh, PayPal is great. Your eBay money goes straight to your PayPal account. And then I actually have the uh, PayPal business debit credit card. Okay, you can use this at grocery stores, you can use it at Lowe's, wherever you want, all right? It's just another online bank that's very secure and it works well, okay? Or you can just leave it in there and uh, you can transfer it to your bank account and pull it out in cash uh, whenever you need to. Um, you know, I, I try to leave it in there. If I need cash, I'll pull it out. If not, um, I just use it as a debit card. Okay, so, uh, you know, the, the first thing that I would suggest doing is just find an old item at your house, you know, something that's maybe it's kind of cool uh, but you don't use it anymore, uh, it's still worth something. All right, once you have that eBay account set up, once you have that PayPal account um, linked to your eBay account, you know, go ahead and post it. So you're gonna go onto your selling tab, you're gonna list an item, okay? You'll title the item, uh, whatever the item is. Uh, you know, if it's something leather, make sure you put leather in the title. You wanna get more hits on it, you wanna get more views. Okay, so once you have it titled, something similar might pop up. You can click on that and it'll copy and paste whatever their title was into yours, all right? This is an easy way to save time if it's a similar item, if you like the title. If not, you can create your own, okay? Make sure you give a good title, lots of keywords, get a lot of hits. Uh, scroll down to your description, put in a good description. You know, if there's anything wrong with it, you wanna let the seller know that, okay? You don't wanna send them something that, uh, you know, doesn't work and then you put in this description that does work, okay? So give a good description. Um, you wanna go to your, uh, to your selling, um, edit button, all right, and uh, I sell everything as a buy it now or best offer. Okay, you could try the auction if you want. I don't have any pointers on that. I've never used the auction, honestly. Um, I, I do buy it now uh, for a certain price and um, or best offer. I usually list it a tad bit above what I actually want for the item, and uh, you know somebody's going to knock you down a few bucks, and uh, you can actually bargain with them on there. You can send counters and. Uh, offers back and forth with notes, and uh, you know somebody will eventually buy it. Um, it's, it's pretty uh, straightforward, okay? The most complicated part is the shipping. You wanna make sure that you get that right. Uh, once you get better at it, you can actually box your item up uh, and have it ready to ship before you even post it. That way you have a very accurate shipping uh, details. Okay, what I do is uh, I make everything uh, USPS parcel ground. Okay, and then I, um, you know, as Stu says, I try to ship it um, priority, okay? That way it gets there a little faster, it makes the buyer happy. Uh, I've done that with a few items. If it's a larger item, though, I will ship it uh, ground, of course, you know, save that money. You wanna make sure that you have, um, that the buyer pays for the shipping. 
Okay, and uh, at the very, very bottom of the page, you can actually uh, have a return policy. Some of my items I do no return. Some of my items I do a 14-day return. It, it's up to you. A 14-day return gives the uh, buyer a little more security. They might be more likely to buy if they know they can return it. Okay, but if you do that, make sure you put buyer also pays for return shipping. That's very important. You don't want to be stuck paying for shipping. Okay, um, so a lot of that can be confusing at first. Once you get it down, though, it's, it's really easy, and uh, the shipping is the most important part. Make sure your buyer pays for the shipping. Make sure you put in the right details. It's gonna ask you for weight and the dimensions of the package. Make sure you get a, a pretty accurate measurement of the item and what you think you can box it up as. And uh, once you get that put in there, you can list it for uh, 30 days is what I do. Uh, that's what I've learned uh, from the mentor. And um, you can uh, take off auto relist. There will be a thing on there uh, where you can uncheck that. Okay, you can scroll down to the bottom. You can put list it. All right, and then it'll ask you if you want to promote the item, and eBay will take an extra little cut out of it. I, uh, I don't do that. Um, you know, if you got a good description, people are going to come across it. Uh, I guess some things you can promote if you want. I just don't mess with that. I'm trying to save money. All right, once you list it, it'll show up. Um, It'll be on eBay, all right? You'll get views, you'll get watchers. Um, you might get somebody to make an offer. Uh, you can counter if you don't like the offer, or you can accept the offer, okay? As soon as you accept the offer, whatever your details at the very bottom of your selling page were, uh, it defaults to three business days, okay? You have to ship that item within three business days. You can change that to seven, 10, 15, 30 business days if you're out of town and you still wanna sell things. Make sure you go in there and you change those details. Okay, you don't want to have it set as a three-day business when you're not going to be able to ship it for seven days. All right, so if it's a three-day business and it sells, you got three business days to box it up. You uh, print your shipping label online. It'll help you with that. The buyer's already paid for shipping. Shipping will pull straight from your PayPal account. If it's USPS, FedEx, it'll pull at the end of the month. Okay, uh, you have your shipping item, uh, your shipping label. You take it to the postal service, drop it off, give them the shipping label. They'll stick it on it. It's off in the mail. All right, it's as simple as that. Uh, my next video, since it is Sunday, I'm going to be making boxes and packaging up some items. My next video will be how to make a box because uh, that can be the, one of the most challenging parts for people is the shipping. So I'm going to try to help you guys out with that.